Oh, this is Dave here again. New video for you. This is the uh, new chimney. Now, there it goes up there, round to the roof. And I had a few comments saying that uh, it's obviously going to be too hot up there. I can do assure you it's never going to be that hot. So there we are. If I can get the temperature there, it looks 50 degrees at the timber. So that's never going to be hot enough. Um, because the stove is burning wood, it doesn't get as hot as it would with pellets. But uh, the reason it's burning wood is because I was given a half a shed full. Um, so free freebies, I don't mind. So there we are. So it's only running at uh, 288 centigrade. So there we are, that's that bit. Um, and I was asked about the bottom of the fire and I will pull it out for you because they couldn't work out, they hadn't seen it. So I'll do a little video on it. There is the ash pan. So there we are. So there's the ash pan. And the little trick that I do do sometimes. Um, got car engine oil, waste oil. What I do, there we are. There's, there's my waste engine oil. I put a little bit of that in the ash pan when I'm going to light the fire and I set light to that and uh, that's great for the timber uh, it gets it going a treat so there we are that's that little thing sorted out so so the ash pan that I've got in there as you can see this one is, f is fully welded so it does not leak so oil goes in that bit and uh, if you want to burn your waste oil, it does it a treat. And I do not have a gap there. That is, both ends is the right measurement, so it's sealed. So that was that question answered. And you can see, down the fire, it's burning timber, look. So you can see it's, it's burning quite nicely. Not as hot, as, nowhere near as hot as the pellets which is unfortunate but uh, it's free so and it's not that cold here today uh, we have got the start of winter so there we are now this is the other thing that I was asked I was asked for uh, somebody wants to build a six inch system so there we are there's all the dimensions for a six inch system that's an upgrade from the four inch to six inch and if you want to use chippings and stuff like that you'll need that six inch feed tube and uh, to because it'll block up otherwise and it will gently feed then and you still might need a stirrer in the top which is a like one rift per minute motor with a just a wiggly bit of steel on the end it doesn't matter it can be just just a half bent piece um, so boy draw that for you you'll see what I'm talking about so it's nothing special it needs to be a piece of steel motor and a piece of steel coming down just like that drops inside the feed tube and that will keep it from feeding that will keep it feeding just to stir it up um, you'll find that that will stop it blocking so that's the easy answer to that problem You'll also find if you're going to use wood chips, you will need the basket that's going in the bottom to, to, to burn the material. The gaps will need to be bigger because otherwise you'll find that it still won't, at the end of the day, it still won't burn evenly. So you'll, these ones, my ones are 6 mil gap, so you'll probably need to open it up between 8 and 10 mil gap uh, in between the rods. So there we are, I hope that helps you out, um, gives you a chance to build a bigger one. And I'll tell you what, you're going to want to stand about 12 foot away because it's going to be so hot when it runs. I'll tell you, that would be massive. Now the other thing that I'm going to do, I haven't done it on my one, but I will be doing it, is this piece here. Now that bit there is a slider that goes in the bottom of the flue over here. And the reason for that is that you can pull that out winter time come uh, end of winter pull it out and all the rubbish that's there will drop out and it allows you to clean the chimney easier so that's something I haven't done 
because I've put it on there and I, that's not the best place for it so it's better under there and that's my next project on my fire so I'll flip over to here go down here <coughs> so under here I'm gonna put just here I'm gonna put a, a slide in there I'll cut that out and I'll weld a piece on the bottom with a little flange so I can just chomp chomp straight down um, I haven't needed to use the this bit yet um, because the wood's not hot enough for that when I go to the uh, other part which will be the uh, pellets I will I will need to use it then I've tried it it just it does work but you don't you only want a slight bit on it so the damper does work but you only want a little bit at a time so there we are um, I hope that helps you out because you know at the end of the day I've had a lot of good reports back from people that have built my fire and a few of them have said it does exactly what it says on the tin which is 800 degrees it works at so there we are so at the moment because it's only building using wood I can tell you now down there it ain't that hot so if I can get it there we are. look you can see it for yourself now so we're up to that's centigrade temperature 295 296 it's round about there so it does vary but there we are that's a digital readout for you so you can see exactly what it's doing so that's its temperature with wood it's not as good as pellets if it was pellets that would be up around the 800 mark so I hope that helps you all out have a go but I do tell you now mine works first time and all the reports I've had back everybody's been well pleased that's built one and uh, I can do assure you they've even built one in Australia um, Mike I think it was in Australia um, then there was a there's been three or four built here and there's some built in Russia as well and Romania and oh, Poland all around the world they've built one of these fires and they are chuffed to bits with them so I hope it's helped you all out to have another go don't be frightened to do it it will work that's the whole point of my videos it works make it nice and easy for you so this is Dave signing off don't forget the bits at the bottom thumbs up or thumbs down subscribe we will be doing something in the future I've got to decide what it is yet but uh, I have got another fire in mind which will be a, just a little log burner but uh, it, it, it still uses rocket stove principle but it's going to be uh, quite wide and you should be interested in that one. This is Dave signing off. Bye-bye. Whoosh, we're gone.